This film will help you install Husqvarna Automower. The installation principle is identical for all models, regardless of feature level. If you are totally new to the product, we advise you to watch all chapters to get a general understanding of the working principle. This will ensure you get the best possible experience with your Husqvarna Automower. The chapters cover the Husqvarna Automower concept, hardware, unboxing the mower and the charging station, basic installation, advanced installation, wire connecting, startup, anti-theft, maintenance, accessories. The Husqvarna Automower is not just a lawnmower. It is a robotic lawnmower concept that will give you the perfect lawn while giving you more free time. Basically, Husqvarna Automower consists of three parts, the mower, the charging station, and the boundary wire system. Husqvarna Automower works inside an electronic fence created by a loop signal sent from the charging station through the boundary wire. When Automower passes the wire, it detects the signal, stops, turns, and continues in another direction. Husqvarna Automower works fully automatically. When batteries run low, it has several ways that will ensure it always returns to the charging station. It can follow a radio signal sent from the charging station. It can follow one or several guide wires. And it can also follow the boundary wire back to the charging station. When the battery is fully charged, it returns to work without your intervention. A robotic mower requires time for installation. However, this is a one-time effort that will give you a more or less maintenance-free lawn for many years. The installation is easy enough to be managed by yourself, but the most convenient way is to let your dealer do the job. They can use a cost-effective cable layer that places the wire a few inches underground and have experience in all kinds of challenges. Husqvarna Automower works in a free movement pattern. This will let the mower find every challenging corner of the yard. After installing the product, it generally takes a few days of continuous mowing before the lawn looks even. The robotic mower will now continue to work and constantly cut the grass as it grows, but just a few fractions of an inch at a time. This is by far the most gentle way to cut grass. This concept can even keep moss away. The clippings from Husqvarna Automower are only fractions of an inch long. They will fall to the soil, decompose and serve as natural nutrition for your lawn. Since Husqvarna Automower works with razor sharp cutting blades, the lawn is cut with a fine edge, which also improves the grass quality. The mower can handle really rough terrain. Slopes, holes, and temporary obstacles like pine cones and fruits are not a problem. It can handle almost any yard with very few exceptions. It is rare that a yard is too complex. There are so many ways to help the mower find its way. See more about this in the installation part. It is designed to work in rain and is so quiet that it can work during the night without disturbing anyone. There are two schools of cutting systems. One use a heavy and massive steel blade with high kinetic energy that tear off the grass. Automower is equipped with Husqvarna safety blades. Those are very durable but thin, has a low weight and are pivoting. When they hit a hard obstacle, they just fold away. Automower has several built-in sensors. When lifting, the cutting disc stops immediately and whenever it runs into an obstacle, the sensors will stop the mower and it will continue in another direction. If the boundary wire is damaged, the mower will stop. This means there is no risk it will leave your yard. In the box you will find a small ruler inserted in the cover of the box. This will help you lay the boundary wire with proper distance to various obstacles. 
a charging station that sends signals along the boundary and guide wire and also charges the mower. On the rear side, you will find all wire connections. A power supply that must be connected to an electrical outlet. A low voltage cable that connects the power supply with the charging station. Long ground screws that secure the charging station to the ground. Replacement Husqvarna safety blades. And the robotic lawnmower. When you buy your Husqvarna automower, you can choose the installation kit consistent to your yard. Kit large, suitable for open lawn areas of max 1.25 acres or complex lawn areas of max 5 eighths of an acre. Kit medium, suitable for open lawn areas of max half acre or complex lawn areas of max one quarter acre. Kit small, suitable for open lawn areas of max of one fifth acre or complex lawn areas of max one-tenth acre. If you plan to let your dealer do the installation, they will provide installation materials. The kit consists of boundary and guide wire, staples to secure the wire to the ground, connectors for the charging station, couplers to connect, repair, or extend the wire. The tools required are a hammer for the staples and two pairs of pliers, a wire cutter and pliers for the couplers. There are several differences between the models in the automower range, but the overall concept is the same. It consists of a three or four wheel chassis and a body cover. In the rear, there is an integrated handle. The cutting disc has three free swinging razor sharp blades. To save energy and protect the cutting blades, there is a skid plate between the grass and the cutting disc. In the back is the main switch. The mower has a large stop button that also opens the hatch. Under the hatch, you will find a display and keypad for all menu settings. The method of setting the cutting height can vary between models. Manually by turning a knob on some, electrically on some. There is a charging connector. When the robotic mower docks to a charging station, it starts to recharge. The charging station has a platform for the mower and a charging tower. The connectors are placed on the rear side of the charging station, left and right for the boundary wire, and connectors for guide wires depending on model. There is also the power supply connector. Start by making a simple sketch of your yard to get an overview. This will help you plan your boundary and guide wire placement and placement of the charging station. Some yards need more planning than others. When you have watched this film, you will know the methods to handle the most common objects in your yard. Start by placing out the charging station. Recommended placing is on the main area, on an even and preferably shady spot, not far from a power outlet. Find a level spot to make the docking easier for the mower. Plan for six feet of free space in front of the charging station. Place it on the ground, but do not secure it firmly yet. Find a weather protected place for the power supply unit. Plug the power supply into the outlet. Connect the low voltage cable to the charging station. Switch the mower on and place the mower in the charging station. It will now start to charge and be ready when you finish the installation. The boundary wire defines the mowing area for the robotic lawnmower. The principle is that the charging station sends a signal through the wire. The mower has a sensor that detects the signal. If it runs over the cable, it stops, turns and continues in another direction. If a dealer does the installation, he will probably use a cable layer that places the cable a few inches underground. It is fast and efficient. In this film, we will show the manual way by using a hammer and plastic staples and placing the wire on the lawn. 
After a few weeks, it will be totally overgrown and not visible. Regardless a machine or staples, the distances and principle of laying the wire is identical. Start by securing one end of the wire at the station. Leave two feet of extra wire. As the robotic lawnmower always passes the wire a few inches before it stops, the wire must be laid at different distances from obstacles. Here the ruler comes in handy. It has three printed distances, a short, a mid, and a longer. Exact distances varies a bit between models. In front of hard objects, like fences and walls, you should use the longest distance. Otherwise, the mower will collide with the hard object at every turn. When it comes to flower beds and softer bushes, where there is no risk of collision, the mid-distance is sufficient. If the distance is smaller, the mower may drive over the edge and get stuck. If it's longer, the mower will leave uncut grass close to the edge. Near paved paths on level with the lawn, we recommend using the shortest distance. The robotic lawnmower will use a part of the path to turn and no uncut grass stripe will remain. On gravel paths like this, there is a risk that the mower will get stuck. Therefore, use the mid-distance. On hard surface paths like this, you can just let the mower pass over. Around ponds, there shall be a barrier with at least six inches height of legislated security reasons. These are guide distances. To optimize mowing results, you can adjust the wire once you've learned how the robotic lawnmower works in your yard. Place the staples on level lawn areas at a distance of about 28 inches. This is a guide distance. If an uneven lawn makes it hang in the air, you will need to use extra staples. Otherwise, there is a risk that the mower will cut the wire. We recommend that you mow the lawn before laying the wire to avoid that is lifted by the grass. This will reduce the amount of staples used. Alternatively, you can also make a few inch deep slit in the lawn with a spade. This is a good option if your lawn is very uneven or if you want to hide the wire from the start. But even if you lay the wire on the ground, it will be completely overgrown after a few months. If there are areas or obstacles on your lawn where you do not want your mower to enter, you will need to create islands with the boundary wire. Lay the wire from the border to and around the obstacle. The direction is very important. Do not cross the wire. You should view this as an extension of your boundary wire. If you're coming from right, start on the right side of the obstacle. When you close the circle, place the wires tight together on the way back. When the wires are placed close to each other, the signal is canceled. The robotic lawnmower does not register a signal and passes by. If you cross the wires, the mower will not recognize this as an island and cannot pass. It stops and you will receive an error message on the display. If you have several obstacles close to each other, you can do like this. The body cover of Husqvarna Automower is a collision sensor. When it hits something, it will stop and change direction. As it is designed to regularly handle gentle bumps, obstacles like trees and walls don't always need to be fenced by the boundary wire. It is, however, important that the tree does not have visible roots, as the mower will drive over them and the cutting blades will get damaged. 
Again, our recommendation is to create a sketch of your yard before you start. The guide wire later needs to be connected with the boundary wire. If you have pre-planned this spot, you can leave a 4-inch loop at this location and it will be much easier to do the connection. When you finish the boundary wire and return to the charging station, leave 2 feet extra wire and cut. So, now you know the basics of how to place the boundary wire. Maybe you will run into obstacles you don't know how to handle, like fenced areas, narrow passages, etc. This will be handled in the chapter Advanced Installation. But first, you must learn about the guide wire. The guide wire opens a lot of possibilities. It will help the mower find its way to different and more challenging parts of your lawn and return effortlessly to the charging station. Auto mower does not require a guide wire as they also can find the station with a radio signal and follow the boundary wire. But we recommend to install it anyway as the mower will find the charging station faster. The installation method varies slightly between models. In general, the cable should start from the rear of the charging station, leave two feet of extra wire and be placed centered under the base plate. In front of the charging station, you shall lay the wire at least 5 feet in a straight line. Use the staples and continue with the wire until you reach the planned spot for connection to the boundary wire. In an open yard, lay the guide wire beginning at the charging station and run it to a central point on the opposite side. If you lay the guide wire on a slope, lay the wire diagonally so that the mower will have optimal traction. If you plan for the connection spot when you place the boundary wire, you'll have extra wire to connect the guide with the boundary wire. If not, you may need to extend the wire with another coupler. Cut the wires. Use a coupler. It has three holes. It doesn't matter in which hole you put the wires. And be sure all three wires are pushed into the bottom of the coupler. Then squeeze the coupler with pliers. The plug is filled with grease that makes it weatherproof. Secure everything in the lawn. When connecting the wires like here or repairing a damaged wire, Always use a weatherproof coupler. Just twisting the wires will not withstand corrosion and lead to hard to find faults over time. If your yard is divided by a paved driveway, you can just let your mower pass by it. If the driveway contains expansion joints, just place the cable there. If not, you can make a thin slit with a grinder intended for the surface you have. Secure the wire with silicone or similar. In general, we never recommend to let the mower drive on gravel. The risk is high that the mower will get stuck and a paved passage is therefore recommended. If you have a yard with a remote section, it's a good idea to connect the guide wire here to help the mower find the area and ensure a faster way back to the charging station. If the passage is smaller than six and a half feet, we strongly recommend doing this. In the passage, the minimum distance between the boundary wires is two feet. As the mower tries to avoid creating tracks in the lawn, it follows the guide in various distances. The mower always drives to the left of the guide wire towards the charging station. Therefore, the guide wire should be placed closer to the right boundary wire seen from this view. If you have several remote areas, there are Husqvarna Automora models with several guide wires. In this case, there are two remote areas, one that can be reached through the passage we just described and one area behind a fence. 
If possible, an option is to make a small hole for the mower in the fence. Lay the boundary wire through the hole and fence of the area in the same way as the main area. Make sure you don't cross the wire. Choose a Husqvarna Automower model with dual guide wires. Keep the wires together in a straight line a few feet until you split them. Lay one through the narrow passage and the other through the hole in the fence. Connect both wires to the boundary wire. In the menu, you can set how often the mower should go to separated areas. If you have a model with only one guide wire, you can do as follows. One option is to place the charging station in one of the remote areas. In this case, it will also be hidden in the backyard. Then lay the guide wire through both narrow passages. In the mower settings, you can program it to start in the different areas according to size. The next option is to keep the charging station in the main area. Then, in this case, you should always lay the wire through the smallest passage. You can then set the mower to follow the boundary wire to the other remote area. If an opening in the fence is not an option, you can carry the lightweight mower back and forth. When placing the boundary wire, choose a suitable spot from the main to the secondary area and fence of the area in the same way as the main area. Make sure you do not cross the wire. In this case, you won't need a second guide wire. When you'd like to mow the secondary area, make sure the mower is fully charged and carry it to the area. Press the Start button and select the Secondary Area option. Otherwise, when battery runs low, it will start searching for the charging station instead of mowing. When the battery is empty and the mower stops, bring the mower back to the charging station. Remember to switch back to the Main Area option when you want the Main Area mode. If you have sidewalks like this, you can make thin slits and incorporate the sidewalks in the main yard. If it is large enough, you can treat it as a remote area and make a passage with a guide wire. Or make it to a secondary area and carry the mower manually. Now we are almost done with the installation. You just need to connect the wires. Route the cables through the openings. Take a measurement at the contacts on the charging station. Cut off any surplus wire. Stick the wire into the plug. Fold over and squeeze with pliers. This is important when connecting. The boundary wire coming from the left-hand side must be connected to the left connection and vice versa. Finally, connect the guide wires. Place the charging station on the ground and secure it with the supplied ground screws. Make sure no wires can get in contact with the mower. If installation has been done correctly, the LED light in the charging station will glow steady and the mower can start its work. Before starting your Husqvarna auto mower, remove all foreign objects from the lawn. Open the hatch and follow the startup wizard. If you prefer, you can just let your mower work with the standard factory settings. But we recommend that you make your personal settings according to the circumstances of your yard. A good idea is to set the proportion of mowing time per lawn areas if your yard is differentiated. Maybe you'll find the timer useful. Depending on you and your family's schedules, you can set the exact working time for the mower. Like having it working during nights or when you are at work, so you have the yard free when you come home. There are a lot more interesting settings you can do, so please read the manual for detailed information.
From the start, set the cutting height to max. Take some time and observe the robotic lawnmower in action, especially how it keeps the desired distances to obstacles. Most of the times, you will need to fine-tune the wire placing for an optimum result. When the lawn is completely cut, within days, you can start lowering the cutting height until you reach your desired height. From now on, your lawn will always look perfectly mowed. Your neighbors will most likely ask why it mows an already mowed lawn. The answer is that it maintains the lawn by cutting a few fractions of an inch at a time. Not visible for the eye and no grass clippings to collect and compost. An Husqvarna Automower is equipped with an advanced anti-theft and security system. An important stage in the anti-theft system is the dealer shop red listing. A stolen mower is useless and therefore not attractive for thieves. Each mower is equipped with an electronic ID. If reported stolen, it will come up as red listed in the service system at all dealer shops and no service can be performed. A PIN code is required for any intervention with the mower. Without entering the code, an alarm will immediately start to sound. It does not work with other charging stations, so stealing a mower makes no sense. Some models have Auto Mower Connect. The GPS system is a central part, installed from factory. For some models, it is an option. In the Auto Mower Connect app, you can track the mower on a map. If it is brought outside its theft protection area, the mower alarm will go off and the mower will keep sending tracking information of its position. Wear gloves when working with the razor sharp cutting blades. Place your robotic lawnmower on its back on a soft, clean surface. Make sure the main switch is off. Remove all grass you can reach by hand. Use a brush to remove dry grass. Mix a mild soap and water. Use a damp cloth and wipe off the dirty areas. Never use water under pressure when cleaning your Husqvarna automower. Again, wear gloves when working with the razor sharp cutting blades and make sure the main switch is off. You will need a large Phillips screwdriver for this. Align the hole in the skid plate with a screw. Hold the plate and unscrew the cutting blades. Replacement blades come with new screws. Always change them as well. Clean the area under the blades. Use the new screws and attach the blades. Check that the blades can move freely. Regular cleaning should be complemented with a thorough service once a year. We recommend that you bring your mower in for a yearly service and if you prefer winter service at your Husqvarna dealer. After service, they will store it with correct battery charge in recommended conditions. We also recommend that you store your charging station protected during winter. There is a constant increasing range of adapted accessories to Husqvarna Automower. Houses, wall hangers, connective functions, products to make your mower more personal, attachments to handle difficult terrain and so on. Keep an eye at Husqvarna website to stay updated. But for now, 
Enjoy your new housekeeper on duty and your lawn's journey to a premium grade result.